Main article. Coruscant Civil War. It is a symbol of our indolence and torpidity. It is the moldering core of our overripe fruit and I wish to cut away such rot so as to preserve our sweet remains and of course the seeds within. Gallius Rax in 4 Abbey, the Rebel Alliance managed to defeat the Empire in the penultimate Battle of Endor. With both the Emperor and his apprentice dead, due to being killed during the destruction of the DS-2 Death Star 2 mobile battle station, the citizens of Coruscant rejoiced, pulling down statues of Palpatine, overwhelming the stormtroopers on the streets, and setting off chimes and fireworks. Police forces on speeders quickly entered the plaza and opened fire on the crowds without warning, killing many who were present. Present Coruscant erupted into full-scale rioting. Blaster fire and fighting soon erupted across the capital between Coruscant and the Imperial Security Forces. In the ensuing months the New Republic was formed and re-established the Galactic Senate on Chandrila. Meanwhile, Coruscant dissolved into a true state of civil war with some sectors entrenching themselves with rebel resistance fighters, while other sectors actively fought against their neighbors and supported the imperial forces. As the empire fractured all over the galaxy, Grand Vizier Masa Meda took control of imperial forces on Coruscant and the Coruscant government. However, the imperial navy withdrew support from the throne world as Fleet Admiral Gallius Rax refused to allow Grand Admiral Ray Sloan, the figurehead of the navy, to send reinforcements to the planet. Rax leader of the Shadow Council that secretly guided the Empire in its final days, saw the planet as representing the decay that caused the Empire's downfall. In this vacuum, the Imperial Security Bureau was left to coordinate Coruscant's Imperial forces. Grand Vizier Masa Meda remained the planet's administrator and de facto head of the Empire, but held no real power. The ISB established a nominal blockade around the planet utilizing ISB spaceships and coordinated the efforts of present security forces and stormtroopers. The Verity and Federal District were heavily fortified with checkpoints and barricades. Coruscant sky lanes were diverted, and ISB crafts flew on patrol. Smoke rose from damaged vehicles and buildings as a fierce guerrilla war consumed the entire planet. Ameda, in despair and desperation, sought to turn himself over to New Republic Chancellor Morn Mothma and Princess Leia Organa. However, they refused to take him prisoner, instead insisting that he find a way to capitulate the Empire and sign a full surrender.